Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here and welcome back to my art channel. So today I'm going to be doing a variety of techniques on this already painted canvas. I'm not fond of it, a couple things got stuck in it. So I'm going to be painting over with something like this. I love this painting, I was so impressed with it. And it's really hard to recreate abstract kind of fluid artworks, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try to recreate that painting. I do take pictures of all my cups, so I did have a picture to refer back to. If you can hear my bird in the background, I do apologize. She's sitting with me and helping me narrate. Her name is Needles and she's a con here. Um, anyway, sorry, sidetracked. I just didn't like how the rainbow ring pour turned out. The green got a little too strange for me, so again, I'm going to be pouring over it. So I'm going to be using the Artist Loft ready mix paints for this one um and i'm going to be using just one drop just one drop of the treadmill silicone just one in the black color only very very important so i don't know if you can see the consistency here um i just kind of want to try to show you it's pretty thin which is why it's a good paint to form cells with. You have to do a, you have to do it a certain way though. There's a certain way to get cells with the artist loft. All right, my cup is coming along. I started with black that has the one drop of silicone in it. And then I think I'm using bright red for this one. Artist loft has two reds, um, bright red and crimson. And yes, I'm just going black, red, orange, yellow, gold. And then I do a little bit of red over the gold too, just to separate that color from the black because it creates this kind of green tint. I actually like it. I actually like the green tint that it gives, but I didn't want too, too much. So I did separate it. Et voila. <laughs> I'm trying to make this as entertaining as humanly possible. So I did flip my cup over. I waited. Just a few minutes, and there it goes. It's a flip and drag. Yes, needles, it's a flip and drag. Oh, my parrot is so impressed with me. So you kind of, you don't just flip and drag it. There's kind of a way to do it. You have to keep the end of your cup on the canvas as you're dragging. Now what I'm doing are ribbons. Those are called ribbons. So I'm very conscious of what I put in the bottom of the cup. I put in the black, you know, the red, the orange and I, a little bit of that is left on the bottom so that when you do the ribbons those are the colors you're gonna get you know whatever you put in first will come out last so I love putting ribbons in my flip cups especially with the artist loft because when you do a flip cup they blend so nicely and they create these beautiful beautiful gradients that you wouldn't normally get I think from other paints so enjoy as I do the tilt for you guys As you can see, I put an extra little ribbon in there. Just thought the composition needed it. You can do that if you have leftover paint. Just be careful and conscious about how much things are widened and how much you've tilted. I was pretty happy with that. As you can see, that little green kind of bright, I don't know what to call it, that kind of bright glowing part in the middle. It actually, on camera, this actually looks more cool than warm. When I'm looking at it, it looks very warm in those areas. So the light is kind of reflecting kind of strangely. And now I'm messing up my painting, as you do. When I was showing you guys the heat gun, I bumped my finger into it. I probably just made it worse <laughs> with smudging it. That's okay, this composition, Though thoughtful, is still a little chaotic, so it's fine. Now, oh god, Sarah, stop. Just stop. It was fine before. I've made it worse. <sighs> Why do I do this? Anyway, heat gun. I just bought this on Amazon for $20. It has two settings. Hot, 
and extra hot. And this is where you have to be so patient. I'm using the heat gun because these paints are very thin. So when you use the torch, there's a chance that the cells you get from the torch are, they just grow really, really fast. They glow in, cl grow in clusters. It's hard to get control with the torch. And the heat gun kind of keeps these round shapes, especially if they're just singular circles around. So I went in very meticulously, especially in the middle, kind of, I tried to go around the ribbons to make them look kind of like landscapes or rivers. And there I go again. I'm, I'm waiting actually quite a long time in between. I'm cutting this video up, obviously, but I'm definitely waiting in between. I'm using my um, the less strong option on the heat gun every now and then just kind of rolling it around I don't want clusters in this piece. I just want kind of sporadic more singular cells so they keep that round shape Definitely had a few failed paintings with over you know using the heat gun too much, but I Love this painting you guys. I think it turned out beautiful. I love the colors. It's so warm. It reminds me of a strange planet. My close-up is getting weird and wonky. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera right now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're interested in more fluid art videos and in my parrot who's a weirdo and helping me narrate this whole thing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!